Okay, I'm gonna go in order of the spec sh template sheet and show you how to take all of these measurements. So we just laid our denim out nice and flat. The first measurement A is the waistband. I'm not stretching my denim, I'm making sure it's flat and I'm running the tape measure along the edge of the waistband on the half. I'm only measuring from side seam to side seam and that's how I'm taking that measurement. The waistband height is gonna be this width of the waistband. I'm placing my tape measure. It starts at the top of the waistband and I make note of where the waistband ends. C is the high hip. The high hip is going to be measured three inches down from the waistband, but also along the side seam. So I'm following the side seam, I'm measuring down three inches. I can see that it actually hits right below this rivet. So that's a great marking point for me to then run my tape measure across on the flat. And that is how I take the high hip. The low hip will be the same, running seven inches down the side seam. Uh, I'm gonna make a mental note that it's right below this rip. And on this side, I'm gonna hold my thumb and run that tape measure all the way across. You can use safety pins, pins, a piece of tape, whatever you need to mark where you're measuring. Yet that can certainly help you as well. That is our low hip. Our next measurements are E and F, and this is the yoke. So I'm flipping the denim over. I'm not too worried about the legs right now. I'm just measuring the yoke, so I'm going to pat it slightly flat. It wants to know the yoke width at center back. So what is the width of this yoke at this measurement? I'm gonna place my tape measure below that waistband down to where the yoke hits. It looks like it's about two and three quarters. It wants that same measurement on the side seam. So because my back rolls over to the front and my side seam rolls forward, I have to open this up a little bit to take that measurement on the side seam. So again, from below the waistband, to where the yoke meets the back leg, I'm measuring an inch and one quarter. Next is my inseam. That's gonna be from the crotch down to the hem of the pant. I apologize if I'm not quite on camera. I'll do my best here. So again, always just letting it naturally lay flat. I'm not stretching. I'm coming from the center of that crotch seam and I'm running the tape measure all the way down the inseam to the bottom of the hem. I get 28 inches. That is my inseam. Next is my side seam. This is where it might not catch on camera, so I apologize. Um, make sure I try to get it all. So it says, um, Side seam not including waistband. So I'm going to start below the waistband and running all the way down the side seam, not the edge of the pant, because remember, this is the back leg rolling forward. I'm following the seam of the pant. And I can even slide this if you can't see. I get 36 and three quarters. That is my, my um, side seam. My front rise, now I can kind of start to only worry about the part of the denim that I'm measuring. I don't have to have the legs smoothed out. My inseam is gonna be from the crotch all the way to the top of the waistband. Sometimes it'll say not including waistband like it did for the side seam. Since it doesn't say anything, I am gonna include the waistband and I am going to measure along the outside where that seam would fall. And what I could also do is I can pivot my tape measure. So I place my finger down and I pivot the tape measure to follow that measurement. I'm at about 11 and 5 eighths. The back rise is that same seam but on the back and this is where we are gonna pull the denim open just a little bit, but I still wanna allow it to curve. Pulling it straight stretches it a little bit. 
Same thing from the back, from the top of the waistband down that seam. I'm gonna pivot slightly at this curve. I get about 17 and 5 eighths. Your measurements are gonna be different, by the way. The only reason I'm throwing them out is so you can, you know, just kind of hear the measurements being called out. The thigh. I'm gonna flip that denim back over. I'm gonna open the crotch up so that I can get this part nice and flat. My thigh is gonna be from my crotch over and I'm not going from seam to seam, I'm going from edge to edge. So from my crotch straight over, I got about 13 and an eighth. I'm not rounding my measurements up or down, I'm taking them um, to the nearest eighth. We're not gonna get into sixteenths, we're doing eighths. Um, next is my knee and it lifts 13 inches down from the crotch. So just like we were doing those high and low hips, I'm going to measure down 13 inches. You can even see where the denim is very worn and kind of puckery from my knee being in it. And then I'm going to measure straight across. So again, not side seam to side seam, but straight across on the half. I get about seven and a half. Leg opening is gonna be my hem. I'm gonna pull that leg up, lay it as flat as I can. I get six inches on the half again, edge to edge, right along the hem of the denim. Next is my fly. So I'm coming back to the front of the denim. I'm gonna measure, uh, let's see, uh, fly and fly width. So I'm gonna measure, um, does, again, it doesn't say to include the waistband or not, so I'm gonna to come to the top of the waistband, right to that first bar tack. That's my fly length, I get eight and a half. My fly width is going to be from the edge of the fly to that first stitch, it's about an inch and an eighth. Back pocket center length, I'm all the way down on P, flipping my denim over, the only thing I'm worried about is this pocket. I am gonna be doing some measure, well, I take that back. Let's flatten this whole thing out because I am gonna be doing some measurements from the side seams and whatnot. Nice and smooth. Pocket, back pocket, center back length. I'm coming, basically I'm looking for how long it is from the top of the pocket to this point. I'm gonna start from here and go down, it's about seven and one eighth. Back pocket side length. So I can actually, I've got two sides and they're probably two different lengths. So I, I would probably insert either another row and make it like OO or just write both. Okay, so this one is six and one eighth. This one is five, and seven eighths, so they are two different lengths, so we would need to make note of that. Um, back pocket opening is gonna be the top of it from edge to edge of the actual pocket, so from where the edge of the fabric to the edge of the fabric we're measuring. Okay, I get about seven and one quarter. Um, back pocket bottom width, I'm measuring straight across so from this corner to this corner here, straight across, that lets me know how wide the pocket is at the bottom. I get about six and one eighth. Back pocket placement from the waistband. I'm measuring down. And what I can do is I can measure from one side, from the bottom of the waistband to the top of the pocket. It's about three and three eighths. And if I do the same on the other side, it's about three and seven eighths. So again, I would need to make note of those measurements varying because that'll tell me how and where the pocket gets placed. Um, back pocket placement from center back. That's gonna be from the center back seam over to the pocket. So I'm actually coming in the middle of the seam. Um, well, let's not make it confusing. Let's just go from the, Oh, let's see. 
Yeah, we really should come from the middle of the seam um, so that they're even on both sides. So if we come in the middle of the seam, it's one and one half. Um, let's see where are we at. Back pocket, oh, belt loop length and belt loop width, okay? So come up to our belt loop. From the top of the belt loop to the bottom of the belt loop is the length. I get about, on my denim, two and a, and a quarter. And the width, now this metal is in the way of my measurement, so I can even just kind of start at the one and go over. It looks like it is, oh, not quite a half, not quite three eighths. I'll make it three eighths. Okay, now we need belt loop placement. So let's flip it back over. And you know, you may do this for all belt loops. We're just gonna do it for the front for our tech packs. So I wanna know where is this belt loop placed in relationship to kind of other um, areas on this denim. Front belt loop placement from side seam. So I'm measuring from the side seam over to the belt loop or vice versa from the belt loop over to the side seam. Okay, I get about five and three eighths to the side seam, not to the edge, just to the seam. Belt loop placement um, front. Okay, so that was the only placement we needed for the belt loop. We don't need to know how far it is from center front because this places it here. Um, pocket bag, front pocket opening along side seam. So where does this pocket opening start in relationship to my side seam and my waistband? I'm gonna measure down from my waistband to give me the front pocket placement along side seam, and I'm gonna measure over from the side seam to give me my front pocket placement from the side seam. Um, pocket bag width along waistband. So we're actually going to turn our denim inside out. Just for a moment, I don't even, I could do both legs just to make it easier for myself. Okay, and we can see that my pocket bag actually goes all the way to my fly. So pocket bag width along waistband is gonna be from the side seam over nine inches. So from that stitch over, since it goes all the way to my fly, some of yours might stop sooner. And then along the side seam, pocket bag length along side seam, I'm gonna measure that stitch below the waistband to get that pocket bag length. I got eight and a half. All right, and then finally we have coin pocket center length. Uh, or coin pocket measurements, excuse me. So I'm gonna kinda pull my pocket out, just kinda pat it as flat as I can. Coin pocket center length, just like we did that back pocket, we're gonna measure from the top of the pocket opening to the bottom point. I get about three and a quarter. Um, coin pocket side length, I'll measure both. Looks like I've got two and five eighths and two and five eighths. So in this instance, it is even. I don't have to make note of that measurement twice. Coin pocket opening is gonna be the measurement from edge to edge of the coin pocket. Get about three and three eighths. Coin pocket bottom width from the bottom corners, again, just like that back pocket, I get about three and an eighth. And then coin pocket placement from waistband. So I'm measuring where it falls from the waistband and I may need to make note of both of these measurements because I've got um, uh, five eighths and three quarters. So it is kind of set at a bit of an angle. All right. And those are how we are measuring our denim using the template that I provided.